TGIF, guys, it's Friday. Oh my gosh, we got such a big day and storm clouds are around and we still have to go try to catch this 10 foot gator. So I hope you guys have fun watching this one. Wow, let's get it done. guys so it's been one hails of a morning this is unbelievable tree company is cutting trees and they cut a branch it falls on the power line it knocks out our power at the farm isn't that what they're preventing that's supposed to be what they're preventing yeah but then the guy tells the power company oh there was a branch sitting on the line Come on. On the other street. Yeah. We had power all night and it didn't happen until you started cutting. Oh boy. It's just one thing after another, man. I I tell you, it's insane. Then, so we do the pumps, everything, we leave, then the power blinks again. The pumps go out, so we got to go back to the farm and restart the pumps because the pumps take care of all the crocodiles the alligators and everything thank god they weren't burned out oh gosh thank god the one kicked off like it's supposed to but the one sean i don't know i'll look at that for you see if i can figure it out it's it's insane so we had to reprime that one because it didn't kick off it just kept, kept running. running and It's it's absolutely insane. And we have to get to the villages, try so to get this we, big gator. Yeah, I was going to say, where are we going? What are we doing? We got to go try to catch this big gator. He's 10 foot. 10 foot. 10 foot. He's going to be a pain in the butt. And it's, you've seen it. Yeah. So you It's heads like that, dude. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Like as wide as our body? Not as wide, but as long as well, my torso. Yours. His head's as long as my torso. Wow. He's it a big boy. should be fun. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. I brought a bathing suit. <laughs> just in case we have to get in the water again. You get in the water with a 10-footer that's mad. As long as you're there, I'll, I'll be safe. Because I'm not getting in the water with a 10-foot pissed-off alligator. <laughs> See? No. No. See, do we have the pole, the news pole? The lasso pole? I think so, I we don't. I can't turn. It's so tight. Oh my goodness, Z. Yeah. Those are way too short. Yeah. I asked you before we left if you had everything loaded up. And uh, you said yes. I can't even think straight right now because everything that's happening. Think crooked? That might be better. <laughs> oh boy. So what are we gonna do without a noose? I've got pipe. nooses. Or the pipe. I've got the black bag right there, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Lowe's it is. We gotta buy a piece of PVC that's at least what? Six foot. These are only like three and a half, four feet. Yeah. Is there a four footer? Never mind. I can't bend with the seatbelt on. Is there one long enough there to... Yeah, this is more close. Okay. That's long enough to get close to him in the new center. Yeah, that one's long enough. All right, that'll work. So we don't have to stop it close. Okay. Perfect. Let's uh, go catch this gator, hopefully. Knock on wood. Get that done. Get back to the farm. One saving grace is we do no longer have the cold front coming in. So we do not have to put up the tortoises. Yeah. For now. We never got the cold front. No. This storm knocked the cold front out. Which is... Thank goodness. Yeah, it was crazy yesterday. Because I thought we were going to have to put all the tortoises up today. But it's only going to be in the 60s tonight. And in the 50s tomorrow. So we're fine. As long as it doesn't go below 50, we're good. 
and hopefully we get some of those pig blankets that's what we got to get and put those in the tubes for the tortoise pens because then we can pass pack the tortoises in there at night and then they can come out in the morning because it, it's ridiculous to put them up at night take them out during the day put them up take them out yeah. because the days are warm enough but the nights get too cool so we get the heating pads those pig blankets in the tortoise we connect those to the top of the pipe yep. and that creates enough heat in there to keep them warm at night in Elvis we just have to put him in I wish that we could get those shutters too you know like the rubber things so that we could just put it in front so they can push it like the dog doors almost like the dog doors the problem with those is they got a lip on the bottom and the tortoises won't no almost out. like um, kind of like the car wash things where they oh like the freezer door thing like the slats yeah. yeah but how do you we'd have to build all new tortoise enclosures then they have them square because the tubes are round and you really those slats you can't yeah. it's too hard to cut yeah, them in a round unless we just put one slit in it but then they wouldn't see it what is going on Another truck filled with a bunch of junk on it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Thank you for pulling off the road though, so we can get by you. At least there's someone in the world with some common sense. Look at all this they're building back here. They're developing this whole area. Right across the street from the federal prison, they're gonna build a school and everything. That doesn't sound right. Is that a maximum or a minimum? Or That's a super max. Super max. Yeah. Federal. Yeah, super max federal. That's I, Coleman. That doesn't sound right. They've got the worst of the worst in there. Yeah, I'm putting a school right next to it. Yeah. Well, across the street. Uh, the Uni yeah. Unabomber used to be in there. Was well, oh, Yeah, but they moved him somewhere else. Great. And that guy, the ice pick or whatever, that mafia hitman. Yeah. He was in there. there was was a he bunch the dude that had the scar going down? I don't know if he, no, he didn't have a scar. He just, he was a big guy. Sammy the Bull? I don't, no, Sammy wasn't in there, but what's his name? was in there, the guy they made the movie after, um, oh gosh, I can't think of his name, he was, uh, the Mafia Teflon, from, Teflon Don, no, Teflon Don wasn't there, but the guy from Boston, there's so many of them, there's so many, and then wow, they, that, <laughs> the wind's blowing oh, wow, that, wow that man, song. that street sign is just, uh, it stopped. Street sign stop dancing. Yeah. That stop sign blowing everywhere. It's a bit windy today. I can feel it driving the van because we're so big it's blowing us somewhere. Yeah. But they had a bunch of really bad guys. They had they had a lot of guys tied to 9-11 in there. Yeah. Terrorists. And then they come there and they get and they always get moved around. It's and that's all the federal prison. That federal prison is huge. Bald eagle. Where? Oh, there's a bald eagle. Oh no way, yep. He's coming down to get something. Oh dude, that's like so dude, cool. don't. Now there's roadkill, that's why. Oh. I was like, please don't go in front of us. That's the second bald eagle I've seen. Really? That's yep. it? Yep. Dude, we got six nests around our house. Seriously? Yeah. That they, they produce babies every year, too. Dude, that was epic. Aren't they so beautiful? Yeah. I get goosebumps every time I, know, I look I at them. I that, too. Every time I see them. You think of that, and you think of America. 
Yep. You know, that is so cool. Well, I got you some guess it kind of flew to our windshield. Yeah. yeah it looked like he was going to come right down at us. I was like, please don't, please don't. I don't want to hit an eagle. I love the. He was close enough. You could see how big their beaks yeah, are. You can see the yellow. Yeah, the ye beak. how yellow they are. Yeah. Everything. That was pretty neat. I wish we had a camera filming forward and filming us too. Yeah. That way you guys could have seen it. We're gonna have to hook up that dash cam. Will you have an iPhone? Yeah. Is that not possible on an iPhone? No, you can't film both directions. Oh, uh, so you need an uh, Android? A what? An Android? Those are in space. That's where I got mine. That's C3PO. He's, a, he's an Android. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't think we need a C3PO. He can play about R2432. R2D2? That R, that's it, R2D2. That might be... I forgot my into. numbers and letters. I kind of like R2. But if we had a Yoda... That you sold been... Yoda. Oh, you sold Yoda. I did. You're like one of those little guys with the big capes and all. Selling droids and selling... I don't dress up. Those little hooded guys who roam the desert. Um, Ewoks? Ewoks? No, the Ewoks are the fuzzy guys. Uh, the bear Hey, I'm guys. fuzzy. I, I thought those were Ewoks as well. No, they're not Ewoks as well. No, I thought they like... Monks? No. They're not monks. They're, they're salvage guys. They go through the desert picking up everything and selling it. Oh, yeah. Scrappers. Sort of, yeah, it's sort of like you, Pickers. Sean. Pickers. Yeah. So it makes sense that you sold Yoda. Alien trafficking. Huh. <laughs> Alien trafficking. Hi, let's see. We got to... This is a little ways away, so let's get there, assess the situation, catch this gator, get home. And there's going to be plenty of work to get back to. You forgot something. What? Lunch. Oh, my goodness. You're as bad as Chris and Z-Dog now. Dude, we just ate. Z, what do you think? After? Yeah. Z, I swear. I swear. Two against one. There is nobody on the planet who eats as much as you. That's a lie. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, Chris. Bes besides Chris. No, that's not what you said. You and Chris together, if you guys didn't eat for one day, you guys could solve world hunger. <laughs> Doubt that. I don't. You, there's people in Ethiopia starving because you and Chris have to eat nonstop. Again, doubt that. Because the food's already here. <sighs> but they have to bring it here. But it was already here to begin with. Not anymore. They import everything. Not Everything's in out in the ocean, stuck in those containers. They can move that, those to Ethiopia. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Let's go get the scale. Right, Sean, look how choppy this is. I don't know if we're going to be able to get him. It's awful windy. It's so windy, and these lakes are so... It's a huge lake. So shallow that it gets big wakes like that. Crank that up, see.
with the wakes. Everything looks like a Loch Ness Sea Monster out here. up on the bank over there underneath that yeah, flag right over there I saw looks like he's somebody doing lawn work uh, Somebody underneath it. exaggerating size again. The head sticking up, yep. His long neck. I think those are bomb fronds out there, Zeke. Another snake that way out there.
because he's not coming up. I only make fun of those that I care about. And it's not really making fun, it's just having fun. It's just having fun. I don't care, it doesn't bother I got thick skin, my friend. Sean, get in the van. Guys, the water's a lot calmer down here because the wind's coming this way, so it's picking up and bringing it over there. He should be down in this area somewhere. I might have to drive down to that corner. Ooh, fish jump. Z, I got an idea. Grab my rod. If I do a couple casts, he might come over and think we're fishing. Because he's been chasing got people fishing. So we can try to trick him that we're fishing. Little does he know we're fishing for him. I think someone's alarm's going off. That's what it sounds like. It's the lunch alarm. No. Nope. Uh, someone stole their battery. This one's going to be a nightmare. I love these reels, see? these IRTs. They are so smooth. bigger rod and that new IRT reel.
thought you were going to have to swim out there and unhook me, so... Thought I was caught on netting. See, this lake's so big that we're going to have to try to find him and go to him instead of him coming to us. to put a boat in. Not in the villages. Don, I gotta tell you, these IRT reels are the best I have found in the combination with the bull bay rods. This rod I've had for, what, 11 years, Z? That's caught a lot of gators. Oh, 13. Right around there. Yeah, it was like seven when you got that thing. So, with these reels, they're made right here in the United States. I used to use the old pens, but now they're made in China and they're not worth diddly. A big gator will strip out the gears on those. This thing's already caught several gators and it's still going strong. I love this thing. If you guys are into fishing, check out IRT. They're made in Pennsylvania, and they're awesome. And Bull Bay rods are made right here in Florida. That's the only rods that I have caught big gators on, and they don't shatter the rod. Because I've had this thing bent all the way down into here. Now you're ten, just bragging. On 10-foot gators? Dude, it's, I love these, these rods, and they made my new gator getter. This is my original gator getter. right there and they made my new one and it's even it's like what is it z nine foot about yeah it's nine feet long and i can pass so far out of there i threw this reel on there just to try it but i went back to this rod for here because most of the ponds aren't this big that's much i wouldn't have it fits in there. It goes up through the cage. Yeah. But I just got to, what I got to do is get a new IRT reel. It's got to be orange. Yeah, that's what I got. And then use that one for ponds like this. This is like trying to fish in the ocean. Oh, well, you don't get that good of a catch. Than the ocean. Oh, gators put up a bigger fight than anything I can think of. No, taste wise. Oh, taste wise, no. Yeah. There's nothing better than Chilean sea bass. Chili with sea bass? Chilean. Dude, it's white meat and it flakes. It's so delicious. I don't know, swordfish. Dude, I like the Chilean sea bass better. Comment down below which one you prefer. <laughs> That's my favorite fish, Chilean sea bass. That's swordfish. Chilean sea bass. Swordfish. Chilean sea bass. Swordfish. Swordfish steaks are good, but yeah. 
Chilean sea bass yeah. bass is better. It's the other white meat. I still prefer a cow. I got to tell you, a nice piece of Chilean sea bass with a nice big steak, that's the best. Do you one better? Swordfish steak with deer steak. Ooh. Okay. Deer steak with Chilean sea bass and bacon some prawns and some bacon. Okay. Beat that one, Z. Okay. I have a side salad with with a lobster tail. I like the prawns better than lobster. Mm, I, I prefer the lobster. Well, actually, Maine lobster is better. If you're I from Maine. Okay, I wasn't done. Okay. Two crab cakes. Oh, he doubles it up. Yeah. He throws in the crab cake. I think I win. Okay, okay. I think Z Dog wins yeah. with that one. No, no. Got him beat. Okay. Take mine. Okay. And have a back strap rolled with bacon in it when you're putting it on the grill. And then throwing a couple uh, stone crab claws, a couple Alaskan king crab legs, and you can't top mine. That is very hard, but you never added beverages to it. So I'm, I'm gonna say your Cuban coffee. <laughs> That was just yeah. downright. You neat. gotta have the Cuban coffee after the meal like no, that. I'm not done still. If you get that a blackberry lemonade and mix it with some crush, oh. that that gives you such a good taste because then you got the fruit in there as well. Oh. You want to call this a tie? No, I win. No. <laughs> Ow, dude! You hurt now, your you daddy. You lost your mind? You know how bad my hand I hurts? For, I forgot. You, you taught me to give you a good handshake. But not when... Mo Dude, you taught me to give a good handshake. Not when someone's hand hurts. When I'm shaking your hand like this, that means my hand hurts. How hard is that to tell? I don't remember. I think there's only one thing left to do. Throw you in there and have you swim around. I like Sean Zoli's and idea. Sean and I will go get lunch. There we go. We'll bring you back some. Fine. You know uh, what? You won't be able to go in the... Oh, well, we're going to bring him back. Let's go. Yeah, we'll just bring him back what okay. we got to bring. Let's get out of here. Call us if you see anything. Yeah, just we're a phone call away. We'll be at... Uh, what's it called, Sean? Culver's? Culver's. We'll be at Culver's. You got our number. <laughs> He's like, Hales, no, I'm going to Culver's. <laughs> All right, let's go, because there's nothing we can do. It's way too windy. And this is going to have to be continued. Might be another night gator. Let me ask this guy if he's seen it. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Have you seen the big alligator here? I haven't seen him recently. No. You haven't seen him recently? Yeah. Could have left. Yeah, there are, but someone just saw them yesterday, and I saw them yesterday night. Yeah. Right, right here. Right. Yeah, be careful walking that small dog. Right, right. Oh. All right.
Yay. All right, guys. Well, this gator is definitely going to be a to-be-continued alligator. I'm going to drive out, though, around that way, just in case he's, we can get a glimpse of him. And if we do, we're going to have to catch the gator before we go to get lunch. If we don't see him, we'll go get lunch and then assess our situation. This weather's just, it's not perfect for us. It's too windy. And he's not coming up for the gator call. So we're gonna have to figure it out. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that thumbs up in there when you're liking it because that helps our algorithm. You know, the, that helps us. That way YouTube shares our videos and it makes life beautiful. You guys get swamped, share your passion and you know what I'm gonna say. Random act of kindness goes a long way. Spread the love in the world, man. Let's go.